Okay, two chicken satay, three petitas moranas, one prawn cocktail. Three Tonight is my coffee. chance to see how La Para copes with a full service. With Lawrence cooking the a la carte dishes alone in the kitchen, his sous chef Norm is grilling the kebabs and steaks on the terrace barbecue. So this is your little dungeon then? This it is your. Sure is. Uh... This is where they lock me into the evening. Yeah. Lawrence might not have much experience as a chef, but he has been a restaurant manager. Maybe his skill lies in employing the best staff to do the best jobs. This goes up and down, so I can higher or lower it according to cooking temperatures. Fucking hell, so it's a very modern, updated barbecue. Yes, it's more like a torture rack for food. A torture rack for food? He's not joking. Now, in my book, I think that's well done now. Suffering on top of the grill are 10 chicken kebabs that have yet to be ordered. Why do you, you cook them so early on? Well, that, I've only just done them. Are they cooked? Yeah, they're, they're, they're coming off now. So they're not really now. barbecued, are they? They're almost like poached. Well, they're, they're poached. On a barbecue? Well, I seal them off, poach them, and then okay. finish them on the barbecue again. Okay. Kebabs grilled, poached, and left sitting in the heat, they're hardly fresh off the barbecue. But according to Norm, there's plenty of life left in them yet. I usually use them tomorrow for one day. So I will use them tomorrow. They the, want these ones that I've cooked. Are you out your fucking mind? I know, I was letting myself go there, but I've told you the truth. I respect your honesty, but do me a favour. Yeah. Don't even serve those to the stray cats after service tonight, let alone the fucking customers. Okay. Thank you. Fucking hell. Rule number two for running a restaurant in Spain. Tourists might have holiday insurance, but that doesn't mean you can give them Spanish tummy. When cooking on a barbecue, don't take risks. Does he honestly serve the fucking barbecued kebabs the following night? Yes. It's your business, like. I know. And barbecues at the best of times are not the things to be fuck played with in a way that it's a toy. And why don't you stop him serving? I don't know. Norm's Norm. He's, he's in a world of his own. And as night falls, the world of La Parra becomes even darker. Norm looks like he's preparing for a wake. And after seeing his kebabs, I wouldn't be surprised. It's like we're at fucking midnight mass here. You know I that? Know, I know. Huh? I know. What's that? It's the dynamo torch, isn't it? Right, see so what's going on here, eh? Cooking by clockwork torch, it doesn't get any more Mickey Mouse than this. You need more light out here. I do need more light. What's the cost of a light bulb? Well done, Philip's cake. Sorry? Well done, Philip. Well done, Philip. Yep. We haven't got that, sweetheart, no. I ordered a Philip's steak about an hour ago and it hasn't turned up yet. I'm just, I'm just bloody starving, hungry. The food may not be Spanish, but there's certainly something manana about manager Alex's service. I've been sat there over an hour for the main course. He's cooking it and the plates are in there. Yeah. This fragmented fucking service is horrendous, you know that? Mm. Is it normal for customers to wait this long? Right, so, yeah. I can't go any quicker than I'm going. I'm going as quick as I possibly can. It's not as if I'm not trying. He can try as hard as he likes, but no chef can cook 72 different dishes on his own. To keep up with his orders, Lawrence has thrown everything onto his plancher grill. It doesn't get any lazier than that. He's depending on that plancher grill to cook everything, from fucking dorade to kebabs to chateaubriand, and then this fucking lazy med veg. That is the most disgusting way I've ever seen fucking good ingredients bastardized. He might as well open a fucking greasy spoon and serve egg and chips, because that's fucking disgusting. The huge menu, the lazy cooking, and the customers waiting hours for food. Lawrence has lost the plot. I don't think I've actually quite ever been faced with something that already, so early on, looks like such an uphill struggle. It's not a shame. It's bullshit. Especially when you're charging money for it. That's not cooking. It's day three, and the hard work starts here. If I'm to stand any chance of getting the putter out of the shit, this place needs a fresh start. Forks on the floor, glass everywhere, cigarettes, 
chips. Dog shit. Fuck me. I've seen some unsavoury things in my time. Alex, two seconds. But dog shit in the dying area is unforgivable. First thing I've spotted is dog shit. That's not good enough. Are you happy with that? No, I'm not happy. No. That's disgusting. Yeah, that's the third time I've seen it. He ran up to every table and said, Hello, my name's Nino. 